good morning friends uh, today we are going to have the last touch on this chapter deep water uh, almost the text we have finished and uh, now let us come to the theme part of it actually while uh, studying the text we have also seen the theme and even in the introduction also uh, we have discussed it but uh, in a thorough manner uh, we need to understand the theme uh, and there are two ways to understand the theme uh, from the text even if we are not able to understand what is there in the text what what the themes it is clearly indicated in your textbook uh, just go the last sentence last statements given in the introduction of the author uh, so that tells about the theme uh, even at the end of the chapter uh, you will have the sections of uh, the exercise and after exercising we will you will see the thinking about language thinking about text so there uh, you could see uh, one uh, uh, headline theme and sub theme so uh, so these are the areas that where we could uh, take the themes from and uh, actually the focus uh, on from the study point of view to understand every piece of literature is a broader one so to interpret it uh, it's uh, have many perspective uh, so that's broader one but from study point of view if you want to uh, do it so see these sections and work on it so our first uh, the theme that is uh, discussed here that writers uh, personal experience of fear of water hydrophobia and uh, overcoming it so that is the first theme the main theme of the chapter and under the sub theme uh, it is written that the psychological analysis of fear actually uh, what i think that uh, any text to uh, that may have story uh, that may have personal account that may have uh, any kind of description or narration any kind of incidents so all these stories are actually uh, they are personal one to their characters whether they are based on the truth or true incidents of the uh, true life story or whether they are very much autobiographical so whatever the stories are whatever the incidents are whatever the events are they are always personal to their character to the character that is shown in the story but the text uh, is not limited to those personal experience or those stories only that goes beyond it so uh, we need to interpret the idea behind the text now here william douglas shares us uh, shares with us uh, his experience of hydrophobia and his experience of how he overcame it uh, so this is personal one but the idea of having fear of something is universal one we everybody in the beginning only we have talked that uh, everybody has a fear of something or something and this uh, fear sometimes matters very much in our life sometimes it becomes a very big hurdle uh, to the way of success sometimes we want to achieve something but because of the fear only we cannot so uh, this is what the theme of the lesson is let us see the first that why the, no, the fear factor it is talking about in the text the, the writer also talks about the fear factor that is that is what we see the first thing no is personal experiences what i have said uh, done that this theme could be divided into two parts one part we have the fear factors that how did he develop the fear how did he uh, develop hydrophobia so what fear factors were there to the author and as in general what are the fear factors to us later in the second part of this theme we will discuss that what are the factors those uh, help william douglas to overcome this hydrophobia along with this we will also discuss the uh, fear fact sorry the factors that 
uh, helped that help that would help anybody to overcome such kind of fear if they have so let us uh, start it the first uh, the fear factor uh, that we must understand the nature of the fear first and in the beginning also i have told you that this fear is actually learned fact learn one it's an emotion this we we learn we have born without fear so nobody is born with fear uh, something in his mind but as he grows up this fear comes in uh, the mind of the child or the person as his parents uh, his friends his family his neighbors his society that he lives in or the things that he read things that he hear things that he observe and things most importantly that he experience these all factors contribute to develop a fear in the mind once the person feels uncertainty insecurity uh, in life because of some factor he start fear of it when it seems life threatening he starts fear of it when he sees that uh, it could bring a great humiliation to him he start fear so this is the nature that what outcomes and what we have learned uh, because of this the fear comes to the mind of the person as far as our william douglas is concerned that what developed his hydrophobia which factor develops that the, his two experiences the experiences that uh, uh, he was uh, he had when he was a child and as a young boy so you know it i don't uh, bother much about the text uh, you can do very well uh, with the text you know the experiences of uh, california beach his experience of california beach and ymca too we have discussed in long let us just concentrate focus on the ideas so these were the two experiences that developed hydrophobia uh, in the mind of uh, author and uh, it haunted him so terrifically so completely that whenever he used to go the after effect of the consequences of this fear that he was not able to enjoy at all his life at all so this is another nature this is another factor the fear factor actually when we start a fear of something we become handicapped we could not even enjoy our normal life this fear uh, gets associated with other things also so it's not only that william douglas fears of water so this fearsome nature when one develops that we start to fear of anything where courage is required so it's not only just the matter of fear of water so the similar things when we confront where such kind of adventures required we fear because that the the idea of uh, putting ourselves into insecure uh, situation uh, that comes back that comes up from subconscious mind so that is why we always uh, you know uh, how to fear uh, overcome the fear because it makes handicap and william douglas had done the same thing that he refused remember this point is very important uh, whenever uh, the question is asked in such way and you need to write that about that why so he refused to live the life of handicap his hydrophobia his fear of water has made him handicap his life handicap and he refused to live such kind of handicap life this is another factor so <clears throat> this uh, because no uh, so this uh, should be overcome because it is a big hurdle in the way of success so it robs our potential it robs our talent and maybe we fail because of this fear another thing is that 
uh, about the fear that we must keep it in mind that about its valuation. Valuation? What is valuation? Miss, how much value, how much we value to fear? As we discussed earlier also that uh, the fears of uh, they have of different kinds. All fears are not right threatening. They may not take your life away. Yes, when you you know get drawn into the water, it may take your life. But uh, when the cockroach come on your body, you know, around you, that doesn't take your life. Or if you have just seven to eight feet, uh, oh sorry, sir, deep ditch, and you fell there, you have to jump over it. So that may not take your life. Suppose an animal, a snake, bite you. If it is not poisonous, that may not take your life. So the fear of snakes, the fear of dogs, they are a different one. They are not life threatening. They all fears are not life threatening. Even you know some people fear, uh, as we discussed that the most important thing uh, of fear that we always discuss is that fear of speaking before the audience. Does it take life? No, not at all. But why it is important? Making friends, speaking friends, asking the questions boldly. Discussing the things. If you don't agree with an idea, saying no to this one. Rejecting the proposals. All these uh, require little bit courage. And when we fear to do that, this is this can create a big hurdle in your life to achieve your goal, to achieve whatever you want. So we need to learn value the fear, how much important it is. So fear of cockroach is not as important as other fears that we discussed. That, that may not come in our uh, way of success. So we should understand if that, okay, no need of, you know, bothering about if you fear the cockroach. Even snakes also, no need to bother much. But uh, the fear that comes in your way of success, we should give more weightage to such kind of fear and would think about it, would study it so that we could work on it and achieve our goals. William Douglas had done the same thing. He understood that his fear of water is making him deprived of joy, joy in the life. He wanted to uh, enjoy canoeing, boating, swim, fishing, go uh, on such kind of trips along with the friends. But this fear stops him. And he would uh, become handicapped, he would not move, he would get paralyzed, he would freeze. So he thought that if he did not overcome this life, uh, this fear, he would have to live all his life with this kind of fear and handicapness. So this is how he valued it and has taken the decision to work in the fear of the another thing is that uh, how uh, important thing, very important actually, uh, the exclusive one, our approach towards the fear. Many times we see that when we uh, do not value the fear of you know, something. 
either we are submissive. We are submissive actually. When we do not submissive is uh, when we do not uh, think that it is important. Actually, when it is important, when we do not realize its importance, and we leave it. Okay, it's you know I if I I'm not able to speak before the audience, and we leave it. If I'm not able to speak English properly, so we surrender it. We never try to learn it, and we think that. We can live uh, our life without English at all, or we can uh, live uh, without uh, making friends at all, without speaking before the audience at all. But for uh, the today's students now, these factors are very important. For today's young generation, these factors are very important, and they are going to play a very important role in their future. but when we think that i cannot speak in public i cannot speak english i cannot make friends i cannot go to the uh, people and convince them then and you give it up when you surrender it then you are submissive means you have accepted it that you cannot do it, that you are not able to do that so this approach towards the fear is a submissive approach and that is very very dangerous in one's life here after ymca uh, misadventure authors also for many years he did not went uh, he did not go back to ymca board did not go to the water uh, sources so this was kind of submissive nature of his but later he has developed the confronting attitude this is another part of it. confronting approach so instead of running away from the fear face it instead of getting frightened out of the fear let us see what the fear can do do to us does it take our life or does it take anything else what it can do let us give challenge to it so confront when we face it boldly you might be acquainted with the story uh, of the cockroach theory actually it is called as uh, that a lady shouted and shrieked uh, at the sight of the cockroach in a hotel and the same cockroach and she was you know shouting very loudly and the same cockroach came on the shoulder of her, sorry on the shoulder of waiter so what did the waiter do the waiter uh, just quite uh, uh, was calm and he did not shout he did not move uh, he just observed that where exactly the cockroach is going and what it is doing and uh, the cockroach too becomes silent when the movement stopped and very slowly he caught it and threw it away so this is what is called as confronting attitude when we face it we can overcome it definitely so in life remember children that we should always have confronting attitude and that is why william douglas also had confronted his fear of water he decided to overcome it he hired an instructor he learned swimming and not only he learned swimming that he made it sure that now there will be no more fear not even a bit of it even a micro bit of it 
and to ensure it, he had uh, went to the different open sources of water, to the different lakes, and he swam there. So this is confronting attitude that uh, our author William Douglas was having. So these were uh, some factors; those are associated with the fear that we need to understand uh, to interpret the text to answer the questions whenever it comes. Uh, in those levels, no matter if the questions are on the text only, so you could write the textual answer only. But when the interpretation comes, so you should write these ideas. At least fifty percent of answer uh, should be with these ideas. Fifty percent uh, content uh, you can take. Uh, you can relate it to the text whenever you are writing the higher order thinking questions. And uh, this is where your marks uh, got uh, cut in the exam. So if you want to score good marks, this should be kept in mind. And not only the exam point of, this is what we you know learn from the literature. Learn from this is this, these are the lessons for life, actually. So literature is a great source of learning the life. Yes, experience your friends, your you know, society, the most there. But the books, they are the best sources of giving you the wisdom. So do not forget to interpret such kind of ideas whenever you read something. So let us come to the another part of it, that the factors that we need to have to overcome the fear of water. Sorry, fear. As far as William Douglas is concerned, we will talk about his fear of water. And uh, in the last part, as we have discussed that. Uh, the very first condition, the very first characteristic, the very first feature, the first factor that we require to overcome any kind of fear is our strong desire. Strong desire. We need to. If we don't have desire, then everything is over. Overcoming the fear is out of question. We have to wind up. So the first condition is that you should have the desire to overcome it, strong desire to overcome it. William Douglas was also having the strong desire to overcome this fear of water. If you remember in the last period we have talked about the dialogue in from Om Shanti Om. Itne shiddas se maine itne paane ki koshish ki hai ki sari kainat ne Something like this, no? This is a dialogue I have told that is taken from the alchemist. When you desire something desperately, when you want something desperately, the entire you know, universe conspire to meet you. So, the first condition, first characteristics that one requires to overcome the fear is strong desire. The second thing is that strong determination. Determination. Now you might say the same thing desire and determination. No, different. Desire is different, and determination is different. When you want something from the core of heart, when you are very passionate about it to have, that means you are strongly desired of something. But uh, when you committed yourself that whatever comes, whatever happens, whatever you had, you have to do, you will do it. You will face it. But uh, you will definitely have it. This attitude is having the strong determination. Here are William Douglas also has thought, determined that however the time it takes, uh, if you count his experience, no, he started learning swimming in October, he has completed in April 
and he had made it sure to, he had take to take it to the july to make it sure that he has com completely overcame his uh, year of work so october to july seven month of the further years and the three months of the earlier years almost 10 months now you make it you know realize that how strongly he was determined to his goal so this is called as strong determination the another factor uh, we have is uh, diligence uh, diligence means uh, the efforts that we uh, took to take one the hard efforts whatever comes to us that we have to do whether we have to do something one time two time three time four time till we achieve it Thomas Edison, how many times he had tried and when did he achieve it? Which trial? So, this 100 trials comes because 99 trials came, uh, he had done earlier. 100 or 1000, whatever. So, you have to keep trying and keep doing, taking your efforts. Continuously, hardly you have to try. You have to put your best strength in the fight. You have to gather the strength. Even if you don't feel that you don't have strength, you have to gather from the resources. You need to explore the resources where from you could gather this strength, gather this power gather this uh, energy to fight it back and take the efforts after 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 that is called as diligence hard work without that you cannot achieve success and many times it is seen that my students even if you are not talented no talented we cannot say that everybody is talented but it is you know uh, said like this that even if you are not talented but if you do hard work Nobody can stop you to achieve your goal. And when talent doesn't work, even if you have talent and you don't do works, no, that's face one. When talent doesn't work, hard work beats it. And many times you could see the example in your class also. It seems that some students are more talented. But some students are even more hard working. And their hard work comes up and they win. They win. So that is what you know happens. So hard work is a very important factor to overcome fear or to achieve our own goal in life. Hard work. Diligence. It is called as diligence. Another uh, uh, last factor that we should discuss here. This could not be the last one. There are a lot of factors that, but the, the factors that we are discussing here, uh, uh, to limit uh, with the uh, text, our text, is the last one in that, but not least, very important one, perseverance. Perseverance is uh, the, again, a kind of approach uh, of not giving up not leaving it no matter how many times you fail you have to get up again and fight it back uh, Ernest Hemingway uh, famous Nobel laureate of US uh, in his the old man and the sea he writes that the man is, man can never be defeated. He is born to fight. He did not write that he is born to win. 
to win or to have victory is not important to fight is important and if you fight you cannot be defeated till your death mikrovits if you have accepted that you are defeated you are finished even if it seems that sometime you are defeated but you don't have to agree it you have to fight back and that's the perseverance not giving up when you give up then you know the all hopes are finished no nothing will uh, comes up so not giving me giving up is the quality of perseverance and this is also one of the major factor to overcome any kind of fear or to achieve any kind of success in life perseverance so our william douglas also was having this quality and till he becomes 100% sure that he had overcome this fear of water he had practiced for swimming not only in swimming pool in open resources also so these are the some qualities so these were the themes or uh, these uh, points may also cover the character of william douglas you can write the character also based on this ideas now coming to the uh, the questions that uh, may come in your exam uh, whether they are short questions or long questions let us uh, have a little uh, <coughs> overlook uh, over it diversion first thing that is important that how did we develop diversion the yakima river and ymca pool yakima being treacherous and ymca pool being safe safer one so about this the question may be asked uh, how did he develop aversion this question may also be asked uh, misadventure is another major portion ymca misadventure uh, the, on which the questions may ask uh, short questions long questions so it's a long uh, actually uh, plot and the adventure three times he went down to the pool every time he had a different feeling so any uh, from any point of view the question may ask so we need to study it uh, thoroughly the text and uh, another thing is that uh, how did he uh, came it and in that the first part comes that how did he learn swimming from the instructor all the steps that uh, the steps of uh, you know going the length of the pool with the help of that rope and pulley and uh, later uh, we have the steps of inhaling exhaling kicking so this step by step this uh, questions may also uh, come as a short answer and long questions are there and later how did he uh, ensure that he had a completely overcome the fear so he went to the different open sources of the water different lakes and dived there and swam for miles so uh, the question may cover these areas uh, later the last part of our uh, chapter uh, which speaks of the larger meaning of uh, here uh, of this fear of water and overcoming it uh, is that the fear uh, the roosevelt's quotation remember that we all we have to fear is fear itself so hum ko kisi cheez se agar darna dar hai to wo sirf darna chahiye that is all we have to fear is fear itself and uh, uh, there is he analyzed beautifully that there is peace in death So that is not a fear. Some death is not terrible. But everybody has to die one day, and when your body dies, you have peace in your mind.
and then the thing you do not feel anything other than peace. So there is peace in death, but there is terror only in the fear of death. Mind. It's mind game. If you have the fear of death, then you will feel terror. So beautifully analyzed by Dr. Douglas. Uh, here. So I hope uh, you understood all the ideas and uh, all the perspective of uh, the text that is uh, given to you. Uh, I hope that uh, uh, you don't have any doubt and even if you have doubts, so please uh, uh, you may ask me personally by, uh, on the phone, you may ask me on the WhatsApp group also, you may ask me in our Google Classroom or even on our YouTube channel also. So please, if you have a doubt, get it clarified. Uh, <coughs> so, without fear, huh? get it clarified without fear. Don't fear to ask any question. So, uh, till then, uh, goodbye. Have a nice day. And tomorrow, you are going to have the test of 20 masks on deep water. So, prepare it then. Thank you. Have a nice day.